Data sources are at the heart of Emote Desktop Manager. They are the container that holds all of your vaults and entries. Remote Desktop Manager supports multiple types of data source, and upon starting to work with RDM, you'll need to choose your data source. A data source can be a local file or a database, either local or shared. You can configure multiple data sources in RDM, but there will always be one active at a time. You can easily switch between your data source using the data source drop-down list. To create a new data source, you'll need to open the data source configuration window by clicking on the ellipsis button. Click the add a new data source button, which is the plus sign, and select the type of data source you wish to create. So let's take a look at them. Devolutions Online Drive. Devolutions Online Drive is an online file storage service used to store and synchronize your entries online. You can access your sessions from anywhere using a simple internet connection. It is completely free, has no limitations, and is perfect for single users. Devolutions Online Drive is not meant for team as there is no possibility to share your entries nor does it support security management. It really is meant for single users. Devolution Password Server Devolution Password Server allows to control access to privileged accounts and manage session through a highly secured server that is installed on-premise but can be deployed online. It is quick, reliable, secure, it supports Active Directory integration and also supports team-focused features such as attachments, connection log, offline mode and user management. Devolution Password Server Data Source is really perfect for multi-user environment. Dropbox RDM uses the Dropbox API to retrieve XML files from a configured repository. Dropbox doesn't need to be installed on the client machine, plus it's free, has automatic backups, and you can share your data in read-only mode. Similar to Devolution's online drive, there are no security management features or user management features. That's why Dropbox is meant for a single user using multiple computers, not multiple users. MariaDB Remote Desktop Manager uses MariaDB to save and manage all sessions. It's used as a drop-in replacement for MySQL. It is quick, reliable, plus the database is free and can be installed on Linux. It also supports advanced features such as attachments, connection log, offline mode, and user management. Of course, using MariaDB means that you'll need to install MariaDB, which can be a little complex. MariaDB is one of the available data source for multi-user environment. Microsoft SQL Azure RDM uses Microsoft's cloud platform to save and manage all sessions. It's quick and secure and supports all advanced features such as attachments, connection logs, offline mode, and user management. It also supports multi-user features such as clustering, log shipping, always-on availability group, and database mirroring. You will need to configure Microsoft Azure. This data source can be used in a multi-user environment. Microsoft SQL Server Remote Desktop Manager uses the power of Microsoft SQL Server to save and manage sessions and privileged accounts. It's quick, reliable, secure, and supports all features needed to work efficiently in a multi-user environment, like clustering, log shipping, database mirroring, user management with a superior security model, and would also easily support vaults to organize thousands of entries. Of course, Microsoft SQL Server will need to be installed. This data source is perfect for a multi-user environment. MySQL Remote Desktop Manager uses a MySQL database to save and manage all sessions. The data can be shared on a MySQL database installed on any operating system MySQL supports. It's quick, reliable, the database is free and can be installed on Linux and supports advanced features such as attachments, connection log, offline mode and user management. MySQL will need to be installed. This is one of the available data source for a multi-user environment. SQLite RDM uses SQLite to store session information. It's more powerful and more flexible than the XML file format. 
It's quick, reliable, free, and offers full connection log and attachment support feature. SQLite supports an unlimited number of simultaneous readers, but will only allow one writer at any instant in time. For this reason, Remote Desktop Manager does not support sharing a SQLite data source between several users. That's why it's ideal for single user and standalone situations. Web Dev With the Web Dev data source, Remote Desktop Manager downloads and uploads the session settings directly from a file located on a Web Dev site. It uses an HTTP connection to retrieve the XML file directly on the Web Dev server. This data source is easy to deploy online and can be shared in read-only mode, but offers no user or security management. This data source is meant for single users. XML RDM saves settings directly in an XML file format. There is nothing to install, backing up is easy, and XML files can be edited manually or with an external system. Keep in mind that because this data source is designed for single users, not multiple user, you will not be able to share your data. Also, there's no security management or user management features. Devolution's Online Database Online Database is a hosted repository managed by Devolution's. It allows for storing and sharing of remote connections, credentials, and sensitive information. It is hosted by Devolutions on Microsoft Windows Azure and Microsoft SQL Azure. The online database data source allows for security group and user permissions, offers full connection logs and offline mode, but it doesn't support role management feature. It is a good option for multi-user environment. Google Drive Remote Desktop Manager downloads and uploads the session settings directly from files located on an FTP site. It's quick, secure, free, and supports the offline mode. It's meant for single users since it doesn't support any of the team-oriented features such as security management, attachments, and connection logs. So there you go, folks. Those are all the data sources that are supported by Remote Desktop Manager. Take your pick and choose the one that will fit all your organization needs perfectly. If you have any question, don't hesitate to contact our support team who will be more than happy to help you. Thank you for listening.